Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Uh, another episode of crap transfers. Um, look at this. Okay, so really quick. Um, I have a customer that, and I'll tell everyone, you buy cheap, you buy twice. Well, in this case, she's buying four times. I do have other videos on this particular project, but here we go. So she's had it done three other times, Kodak Digitizing, South Tree, they are the same company, um, and Yes DVD. So she sent it back to the same company twice. <laughs> Um, but you know, people don't know this stuff. There's zero consumer awareness and this is why I have this channel. So whether you're looking to do it yourself or whether you're shopping around or God knows what else, I'm pretty much the only guy on YouTube that's like ranting and raving, um, more ranting than anything else about the terrible state of this industry and all, everyone just getting lured in by cheap pricing. So this is, you get what you pay for. Now, to be fair, this is coming now through this VCR right here. This customer had a problem with their original camcorder, VHS-C. It is a trashy, crappy format from the mid 80s up until the early 2000s. So if there was a problem, uh, a fault with the camera, misaligned heads, humidity, all these different things, um, they can look crappy. So that is in my VCR. That's what you were seeing there, not one of these companies. Okay, so now I'm putting it in this VCR right here. You know, the audio is fine. So look, if you compare this to, this is a high-end Panasonic. This is a more like, you know, lower end. But, but look, this is the same tape, okay? So it's a little bit better. Now, what happens in this industry um, is, is they just, minimum wage staff, they don't care. They're just pushed by management just to push tapes out and just good, bad, ugly, blame the tapes. Because, hey, you know what? You kept it in your garage for 30 years. Screw you. Whatever. It's your fault. Um, not the case. So, you know, when you're only paying them nine bucks a tape, guess what? They're not spending much time on this crap. So um, this is, you've got to understand the science. And you've got $12 an hour you know, idiots that are just working. They don't care, they're just a paycheck. And a lot of them are young and they don't even know what the hell VHS was until they got hired. So that's that, I've put that in that one, that's good. I know the head is good on that one because I just ran this tape right here and it's perfectly clean. Um, and this is that tape here, just pull that up. So that was the one that was just done and this one was from the eighties and it came through fine. So. Um, that's that. So there is a problem with the tape. So there's one other step you can take and, and this sometimes works. The good thing is, is the audio is coming through, not fuzzy and crappy. So look at all this South Tree. These are all these jobs I have to redo. Uh, oh, anyway, today has been that day um, with these tapes. So, so I do have the lid off these. Now these cheap jack kind of VCRs usually kind of do a better job than the high-end ones. So this is coming through now. So I have that static jumpy picture, audio is crap, audio is crap. So I would say that the first go around was the worst, obviously. The second one was the best. This one is kind of in the middle. It, it's you know, the voices sound like kind of Darth Vader and you've got the, the crackling and that static. So what you've got to do, this might work. I don't know. I haven't even tried it on here. Um, tried it on other tapes. First of all, clean the heads, isopropyl, um, which I've already done. Chamois tips. This is what came off on that one. So I cleaned it to prep it, even though it was fine, but I wanted to do a double uh, that. And I'm going to, oh, hold on, I'm left-handed. So... This is going to be a, uh, also don't have, so a little, um, let's have a look. So you can see the picture here. Don't unplug. All right, so you're gonna adjust the, uh, the guide pass here. So as I'm turning it clockwise, see look, it's adjusting the picture. Um, there we go. So, Yeah. You're such an ass. <laughs> that bit. All right. So I'm gonna just let's see the other side here. So yeah, this is the right here where I've got. See, look right there. I'm right there. 
and I'm going to, oh god, I just got the video ahead of time. Oh. oh, here we go. Yeah, the audio is still a little bit crackly, but the picture is a lot more stable. See, look, I'm turning it now. Okay. See, a lot better. It's still shaky, but it's the camera, but that's a lot more watchable. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you do have a VCR, you're trying to do this yourself, cleaning the video heads here, you're gonna need chamois tips, you're gonna need 99% isopropyl, and you're gonna have to clean the video heads, and you've also got to adjust these guide paths right here, and you gonna be very, very tricky with it. And sometimes with these problem tapes, I have to take the tops off the VCRs, Let's this audio. I have to take the tops off of the VCRs, and then I have to watch it, literally sit, not sitting, but I have the audio going, which drives me nuts. So I'm listening for the crackle in the audio and coming over and adjusting it as it's going. So these are the steps that I take. Um, this one here is going as well. This one was terrible. Um, let's have a look here. Massive, oh, look. I don't know if I just showed you this, but yeah, more legacy blocks. Or something. Yeah, all of this stuff. I have like redo Fridays um, and look at this stuff here this was on their um, flash drive look showing the indents on it play it's just I mean, yeah. I mean it gets worse and worse yeah I don't know anyway um, this is the customer's drive right here that she sent. And flash drive sent out to Got Memories. Um, yeah, so look, South Tree, Yes DVD, South Tree, South Tree, and then Real to Real Videos. That was the company in New York that she used. So uh, let's have a look. Yeah, look at this. This shouldn't even be on the fire. Like, what the fuck? Hi, Mommy. Is this your bed? Look at this. Yeah. What are you doing? Where are we? So like this at the top Quite here. Um, like the bottom of the picture, the top of the image is at the but right. And also, um, there was the Yes DVD one. Here we go. This one was crazy because look, it's recorded, and they are recording your stuff to DVD first. And then they're ripping the DVDs using Handbrake, which is a free software, and they're not even doing it correctly. And like this one here is widescreen. It's 16 by 9 when it should be 4 by 3. But they're even recording the menu. Like this is a DVD menu. Look at this, scenes. This is a file, so this shouldn't even be on there, but it just tells you they're doing it to DVD first, and then, you know, look, it just... What's your name? And I mean, they can't even... Oh. You can hear it. Look, the audio. Great. Oh, um, come on. Where? You know, like, all this stuff. This is actually really good compared to the absolute trash that I usually see. So, anyway. Um, all the best to you. Gotmemories.com if you would like to get a quote. I am not cheap for good reason, as you can see with all this stuff here. If you're doing this once, you're doing it right. Do not do it four times like this customer. All right, four times. Four times. All right, so if you are shopping around, gotmemories.com, you know, you've got to see a 5.0 with hundreds of reviews. Everyone's got 20 friends that can leave them reviews. So if you see a 5.0 and 20 reviews, guess what? It's their neighbors, the grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, leaving reviews more than likely. Um, you must see a YouTube channel showing how they overcome all these aging problems. It's 2023, tapes are over 40 years old now. The players are old, everything's old. It's all just going to shit. Um, Tapes aren't being stored correctly. Companies aren't transferring stuff because look at this crap on the tapes. Hasn't been stored correctly, been neglected. And these companies take advantage of your neglect. So if you haven't taken care of your stuff, you go, oh God, I shouldn't have left it in the basement. Um, yeah, 
And if, and if you do have that stuff, I can do it. I do clean tapes. I've got videos on that. I've got equipment for it, all that stuff. Um, if your stuff is in pristine condition, it doesn't mean a damn thing because they could put someone else's basement trash neglected tapes in all of the players and then they're contaminated and then your tapes go in the heads are clogged can't read the content and they're putting stickers on your tapes going sorry you your tapes are crap and then you don't have a player to second guess them because everyone's just throwing all their stuff out or you don't have the old school tvs with the um rca jacks like this it's all hdmi so yeah, it's a mess. If you want this done right, you gotta go to a company with somebody on the ball that gives a shit. Uh, pardon my French, but um, yeah, cause it's Friday and I should be down the pub, but I'm dealing with redoing all of these trashy transfer companies jobs. And I get calls all day long. People going, how much do you charge? What? Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks a tape, depending on the format, depending on the condition. I'm very reasonable, but I do outstanding work as my reviews show. But you buy, you think of how much that lady has spent on four attempts. So even if I said 100 bucks a tape, it'd equal what she's paid. So anyway, um, all the best to you. Cheers.